first contact and the free update is here. Reworking primitives, adding cloaking, archaeotech, and much, much more. In today's video, I wanted to see how much primitives can actually help you and if they're worth keeping around rather than just taking their planets and their pops like before this update. We'll also be using one of the new Origins Broken Shackles, which is a challenging one. There's a lot of things this adds and we'll cover that while we're playing. Remember, there will be spoilers, so be warned. As well as this, we'll be checking out all the new changes, such as Fnatic Xenophile now giving 100% more insights from observing pre-FTL civilizations, which will help us with our primitive mission. We'll be playing on my normal settings, but we're turning pre-FTL civilizations and pre-sapients up to five times so we can actually try them out without me having to reset runs if we don't get the spawns. And we'll be using scaling difficulty mid-game 2250 Grand Admiral because um, AIs are a bit stupid recently. Broken shaggles free at last. We're all former slaves to a powerful empire, but we have been left stranded on Oakba. We have many different species with different traits and preferences or habitation. We have assumed leadership and there are secrets to be found, such as the location of our former homeworlds and potentially our former overlord. Our shackles are broken. Now the work begins. We start essentially like a primitive with command center, makeshift farms, scrap refineries, administration hubs, power plants, and laboratory complexes with a scavenger site where scavengers produce small amounts of alloys, amenities, and science, and no other districts. We have Free at Last, which gives us a bunch of buffs for 20 years, and then Stellar Culture Shock, which um, destroys everything for 10 years. We also don't start with some techs like um, research labs and a planetary government, which we're going to take all of these because I think they're a little bit essential, like Corvettes. You know, we might need those. This is a really odd start. It's like a tree diagram. Oh gosh, computer science taking over my life. We also don't start with any ships, so we're going to have to build them ourselves. Let's get the science ship going straight away. On top of this, it guarantees some pre-FTL civilizations. A random pre-FTL civilization will be uplifted to have payback origin, and an advanced empire will have your ladder to the sky origin somewhere in the galaxy. We also get one more available envoy, First contact discovery speed and infiltration speed, which will help with primitives. That's why we have seven envoys on game start. Our science ship is here and we've discovered an archaeological site. Crashed slave the ship. And we don't actually have any unity to employ our leader yet. So we're going to send Master Ugwe to start excavating the site so that we can uh, start repairing the computer core to reveal the location of our former homeworlds and MSI. Unshackled politics. Unite against our former masters was easy. The common enemy we struggled and fought was one. With freedom, cracks have started to appear. So we're going to start getting some factions and 50% more unity for factions, which is great because we have a lack of unity. I'm going to promote the Xenophile and Egalitarian because pacifists are the bane of my existence. Now, <laughs> I'm just don't worry. We want to maybe do some wars later on. Let's promote this one that already has 70% approval and try and get more support towards that one. After the mutiny, the engineering bay of the slave vessel was rapidly repurposed to serve as a rudimentary lab complex. So we can actually now upgrade our lab into a proper lab. So these events just kind of tick along. For some reason, it's zero. I am very confused. Where did we get two unemployed pops from? Oh, we got an admin office as well. When diverse minds come together, there's no telling what they can accomplish. The addition of new non-human members where research team is already producing results. We get a new option, exotic materials lab, tech option, plus 40% and some science. And that is the upgrade to the research lab, which we're not gonna do yet. The bridge! During the mutiny, the slaver ship that carried us to Aqua was badly damaged. After the crash, our first priority was survival. And other than stripping the ship for resources, we gave it little thought. But now the time has come to uncover the secrets of our former masters. We must restore the ship's central computer, and we've rigged some solar cells to the ship's outer hull. So we get some engineering research, and we've removed the ship debris. So we have debris that we actually cannot clear. They can only be cleared via the excavation site, which is quite cool. And since we have so many pops, we're going to go down expansion first, which means that we can get an additional pop when we colonize and some more pop growth speed, which will help us catch up because we are at a disadvantage. Hence why this is a challenging origin. This isn't even one of our guarantees. It's just an Arctic world, but it's 80% habitability because we have a lot of different pops that could just sell everywhere. First step to the stars. This is our first outpost that's been built. We get a bit of a unity. They kind of start you off negative, but the more things you do, the more buffs you can get, which I think is pretty nice. Let's send a colony ship. So these are all random trait. We have a rapid breeder, which is pretty good, but we also have a lot of lithoids <laughs> with natural physicists. This is a hard choice. We're going to go for the rapid breeder. We want more pops. We can always change the traits down the road. 
Now we're going to go Prosperity so we can build up the cops. We don't need to finish expansion yet. Engineering B. Say this much for MSI. The slaveholding scum know how to safeguard their secrets. Our engineers are hard at work restoring power. Excellent. Another ship debris removed. More engineering research. We have so many planets. This is uh, very, very, very good for us. And we've met someone. We're going to get straight on the first contact because it will give us a bunch of influence if we finish it first. There are already pre-sapiens here, which means we could try out the alien zoo that's been added. That will be great. It does have a level 8 anomaly though, so we're not going to go for that yet. Because we need consumer goods so we can actually build colony ships. A new colony, Moistopolis, is being settled. I mean, it's the opposite of that. It's a desert world. But these names are submitted by our Patreons. So if you want to name a ship... Not that we have any. Um, as you know, the construction ships get named them. Forward on to Dawn, backfill. Or name planets and leaders such as, um, yeah, that name. It's it's used the same thing for the first and last name, which is quite funny. Or Master Ugwe or no regrets. Check it out. It helps the channel a bunch. And it starts from a dollar. We have found a pre-FTL alien civilization. They're very far away, but I want it. Survey straight towards it. The core. Well, engineers have managed to restore power to the ship's computer core. A significant chunk of hardware was damaged in the crash. Research from engineering jobs, minus 15%. It's worth it. We need the data right now. Oh, they're hostile. Why is everyone hostile to Research me in these games? Complete. I just want friends. Damn it, they're building a star base on the primitive. We'll go elsewhere then. I want to find primitives. This is the only issue. We just might not get any. The political frontier. Established factions and fledgling movements alike have taken an unusual keen interest in our new colony. Asphodel. Our analysts don't suspect that anything truly radical is taking root, but they advise some caution. Hmm. Politically assured or political frontier. We can just get less unity and stability, even though I was maybe going to use this as the unity, but I'll just turn it into science planet instead. We can just give it 10 stability. Why not? The collaborator. We use a procedural AI. <laughs> May as well be chat GBT. To engage its dialogue. And it worked with us. The breakthrough has provided our scientists with new insights into the nature of data encryption. So we get quantum firewalls and progress towards it with code breaking plus one just permanently, which is rather nice. Oh, wow. They're actually just already on our border here. Okay. The creator order has been found. That's really nice, actually. Prosperity is finished. We'll grab executive vigor so then when we finish this, we can get capacity subsidies, which will greatly oh, help our help? generator world. <laughs> this dialogue bot, yes. The site has been finished. The damaged computer core has been fully repaired. It's only a matter of time we have access to everything, including the location of our former homeworld. In fact, we may have already learned something to our advantage. We have uncovered the galactic coordinates of MSI. We now have the choice. Confront them or leave them to their fate. Excellent. For 10 years, we get 10% happiness, 10% unity, and the last debris is finished. And we can locate the homeworld, which we're not going to do yet, complete. but we will do soon. Into the future. We've come a long way since claiming our freedom. The ship we arrived on has been stripped of everything of value and our technology has advanced to the point there are a few secrets remaining. Crash the ship will be converted into a public memorial commemorating the birth of our nation. We get the decision which converts the slaver ship and gives us two culture worker jobs. We get infrastructure from the sites and the buildings and scavenger sites will now provide clerk jobs instead of scavenger jobs. We get some engineering minerals, consumer goods and alloys which is all very nice. And we, we have found talk. the great school for their xenophobe fanatic of Fortarian. We're going to try and be friends with them. We have a lot of envoys to do that. Friends. And we will enact a decision once we get the minerals. It's 2,500 minerals. That's insane. And we can do the decision now. We found some free FTLs. Okay, we must rush here. We need this because they're just invading them all. Go, go, go. The big complete. Go, stop it. Go, 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 go. I don't know who just built that first. <laughs> Come on. Go, construction ship. Yes. We got there first. Get out of here. These are our primitives. Probably should start building a ship, though. I'm going to close borders to them as well. Get out. This tech still exists for the uplifting. I guess we'll take it because we might want to uplift the primitives. We don't know. They're in the Renaissance. Very interesting. So we have that observation post. Now we can actually see them. They're low awareness with one and Renaissance Age almost tearing up. So there's different tiers here as well. We're going to build a spy network in them. Spy network is there. And we get observation insights because we're fanatic xenophile. We can get 100% chance to get insight technologies, which we're going to see if it's worth getting these. We're going to go favor insights. We progress through this quicker. We get minus 50% station providing, which is nothing really. It's producing. Four. 
and halving that to two is not that big of a deal. And we have a basic cloaking tech, which we're going to grab because uh, why wouldn't you want to cloak? The real question. Don't know why all of these things. We're going to locate former homeworld now. Oh, and I forgot our decision stun on our planet. So we get culture workers now which is very nice and all of the buildings got assigned to districts so we've got a bunch of buildings opened up which we're going to start using they and we talk. find that the cobrin coalition who are also xenophobe fanatic militarists great homeworlds are located a great day for us species updated. they are of course across the entire map there's one over here one over here and one over here so it seems that this one has been settled I don't know. Diverse design. As a people of many worlds, integration has not been without its challenges. We've got art, culture, everything. So we get 5% more monthly resources, 10% monthly consumer goods, 10% specialist output, 10% happiness for 10 years. That is quite a good buff, not gonna lie. Missing scientists. Our observation post has um not gone too well. They were trying to collect some plant samples and they've gone missing. That's not great. We've gotten basic cloaking field generation, which means we can actually cloak uh, observation posts, which is already done, which means they're not going to get a lot of awareness. They're not going to because they're only in Renaissance age, so they don't really see much. But it means we can actually cloak uh, science ship. And we can also get active reconnaissance, which gives speed of intel gain on ev other empires 10% intel level plus 20. So we can use this for espionage, which is quite cool. And the Swalfins are claiming Hecker. That's not great. They're preparing war. Oh no. We have so many choke points with them. Alien zoo we can get. Maybe we can not die and complete. make a zoo. Uh, that would be fun. I guess we should make some claims. Like on their planet. How are they going to like that, huh? 900 strength, 20k. Quickly ban the borders. Yeah, well, all choke points now have a star base on with gun batteries. And we have 600 corvettes. They're insulting me. Okay. It's not very nice. So we have this planet which has pre-sapience on. We can actually make a zoo. Alien zoo. Gives us an entertainer job and a zookeeper job. Zookeepers produce society research and amenities. Amenities scale with the fauna, which is quite cool. Oh, they've declared war. We get a just cause. While we enjoy the benefits of freedom justly earned for too many in the galaxy continue to suffer under the indignities of slavery and indented servitude. The time has come for us to take a stand. We get... Monthly unity, less upkeep, less army upkeep, less army costs, and army build speed. Not really money buffs to ships, except for the reduced upkeep, I suppose. What do they have? They don't have enough. Conquer war goal. Or we'll just sit here and watch where they go. Keep building up. Are they actually coming in? I don't think they can win that, can they? They have 1.4. Our star base alone is uh, pretty good. And we can get moats because we have lithoids. Fight them. Come on. Heavy losses. I think lost. we've done enough. We lost everything though. Come on. <laughs> One ship Research survived. Complete. Oh, they've got a rebellion. <laughs> That's what you get for trying to kill me. Independence guaranteed. Thank you. So nice. Yeah, Primitive has not helped us yet, but we're about to get an insight, which will hopefully be a great tech. Commercial packs and research agreements. Yes, I will take all the help I can get. We're a great ally. Insight breakthrough imminent. We've gathered enough information to create a new insight technology to explore further. The next time we have an observation event that would advance our insight, we'll gain a new research option. So when something happens with these three FTLs, something will happen. What will happen? Who knows? But something will. We also need an army. We've met some more friends. I think they're in a federation. Cool. I forgot we can also go up to active interference. We can't go to aggressive because we're fanatic xenophile, but it means we can change our observation post to aggressive observation, which means we'll gain a major amount of progress to exclusive technologies. I should have done that a while ago. And now their awareness has decreased. Okay. We're getting a minor artifact from this deposit, which is quite cool. Ooh, a new Archaeotech. We've randomly rolled it and it gives us research speed towards Archaeo studies plus 100% and Archeo Engineer jobs, which gives us science. And if it was built on a relic world, it would give minor artifacts, but we don't have a relic world. Wait, I've just found <laughs> the person who went missing and they've gone to live on the Renaissance thing. Um, they've gone insane. So when you actually get the tech is quite random. It's usually an event like that, but I don't see a new tech. We should also probably build one of these on a science world. Time to murder. Galactic community is here. They want peace and we shall not give it to them. MSI has joined the council. Rival them instantly. This forced in. Rogue scientist consolidates power. Oh no. Extract the missing scientists or just let them do it. I think just let them do it. 
let him go to the machine age. I'm wondering when the heck I get the insight tech though. I've been waiting for ages. Am I doing something wrong? And we finally won. The small fins are no more. My economy is burning. Oh dear. We can fix this with a few good deals, I think. Okay, we can actually just start spamming out tributaries now. <laughs> this game is so stupid. I've just spammed auto cannons. Take Falling everything counter. that they're worth. And yeah, now we're up to 400 energy a month. And we just like 14 influence for another one. And Space another one. <laughs> Resources go burr now. It's just consumer goods, which is a big issue. Yeah, I have no clue why I'm not getting any insight technologies. It's very annoying. Medical type. Wait, is this it? No. Increase awareness by 10. We had some medical side effects from tractor beams. We're going to increase awareness by 10 and do that. But it should give us X. It's not getting any. Wait, this <laughs> the Minma already <laughs> subsidies under someone. That's funny. They have massive awareness. I might just click reveal presence. We're not getting the text. Let's do it. Greetings, friend. They got a stellar culture shock only for five years. That's not too bad. Let's provide them technology. Let's give them a commercial pact and offer them social guidance. I want to build them into something strong. And we didn't get any of the text for some reason. But I have played this before, but my mic was using my webcam one. And I got a lot of the text. They were quite useful. So not bad, but it's just really RNG if you actually get any primitives and if you get the text, it seems. Or at least there's more interaction with them once they know you're there. Yeah, Research this is now complete. giving us energy instead. And it's a diplomatic embassy. It doesn't seem like there's loads and loads more to show off about the primitives. It's mainly the story. I think we try and go for uh, our planets, see what happens. We've gotten favorable results from our primitive. New World Order. Fusion Radical Doctrine of Planetary Unification. Charismatic the leader has appeared on Hacker. Watch and learn. Aid the leader or aid the rebels. We're going to watch and learn because I want the insights. Finally, we got an event that gives us insights. That took so long. Last time I played, I had two Research primitives complete. and it happened a lot quicker. So I guess it does matter how many you have. Brett Mizzy now finished. We could go Archaeotech and I think we start rolling more uh, Archeo stuff or we could go Engineered Evolution. We're going to go with the fun thing, Archaeotech. It also buffs up uh, Archeo Engineers. We get five of them now. Devastation plus 50. Oh no. Homeworld found. Finally some more events. We get less happiness and more unity. And it's literally their capital? What? But we get some Archaeotech Ancient Shield Overcharge. So a lot of this primitive stuff Special seems very complete. random. And also this origin is weird. Because a lot of your homeworlds and stuff get taken. The scent of home. There's so many things that just popped up. Yeah, transport has to fly through here and we've found it. I mean, there's not much I can do. It's so far away, but it's a cool story. But another Archaeotech ancient pulp farmer. So these use relics to build. We have a plus four of them at the minute and we get that from Research sites complete. and random stuff. So we finally finished New World Order that event on a uh, Pekka. Do we actually get a tech now? That's the real question. I don't think we did. I don't know what's going on. This game just, we haven't got any. Some you get loads, some we don't. Because my last game I had like seven. War. The kingdom wants to go to war against EP2. No. Oh, they've just set. They've gone to the Stone Age. This has happened to me as well. Like literally they love doing this. <laughs> well, we do aggressive observation again, I suppose. They've gone back in time. Oh. New tech assisting cloaking detection. Very nice. So we've focused a lot on the primitives this game. And as you can tell, not a lot's really happening. I feel like this update is good, but it's hard to focus around the primitive. It's more just a bunch of flavor and story, which is DLC. Since this video is focusing on primitives, there's not really much else I could do, especially since they just nuke themselves back in time. If we just quickly check out the technologies, because last game I recorded with Bad Mike, I got a load of them and I just haven't this game. So here are a few. You get some envoys, unity from hyper relays, reduced time spent missing in action, an envoy, alloys from jobs, that's a huge one, available envoy, empire size, and district cost reductions. Those are so good. And they round down, so it would be zero until you get a full one. Societies, you can get more damage to rivals, which is very good. 10% just more damage, rival them. Max districts, empire size, and insult efficiency, and you gain benefits from insulting. Did it in last game, you get a few stability happiness across everything. And sublight speed loss from Kurokin, very good as well. And then in physics, you've got resource from orbital stations and station upkeep, operation speed and operation difficulty. That's very good. Research speed plus five, 
and listening posts provide one detection strength. Now, these texts are very good, but as you've seen from this stupid primitives, I got none of them. I was just waiting. I don't know if I did something wrong. Someone might point it out. So is it worth just leaving them and not taking the planet? It's up to you. If you really want to get these texts and you're playing a late game, I'd say it's worth keeping them around. But if you're going for a very fast start and you want to get as much as you can, it's probably still worth just taking the planet. Broken Shackles was also quite fun, but we just kind of got a bit of memed by the spawns and we kind of would have to play a conquering empire to actually take all of our planets back it seems because they're so far away and minmar just got vassals so i couldn't really do anything with them <laughs> and i don't want to do a, a galactic war there's going to be more videos coming i've got loads of ideas and we'll focus more on something rather than just playing the game and seeing what it has to offer Thank you to Paradox for giving me early access. If you enjoyed this video and want to see chaos, check out the time I played Empire Roulette, where I changed Empire every five years. Did I win? You'll have to click to find out.